Hello there everyone, this is Lilith and welcome back to the third installment in my series Lovely Layers with Lilith. I'm always looking for new ways to incorporate layers into my layout. So what better way to do so than by using a craft flower set from Altenew and today's set is the Sulphur Cosmos. Sit back and enjoy. So this is the set where I'll be using today. It might seem a little daunting, but just take everything out and have a good look at those dies. And you will see that they all come with a little shape in the center and a number. And this will be really easy because you will layer your dies really quickly and easily. So I'm just going to pull all of them out and group them. So one has kind of a keyhole and the other one has the symbol of a little arrow. These are the papers I'm going to be using from the Soft Washes paper pack and I'm going to start by layering all my dies onto the papers I have chosen. Now I have chosen these Soft Washes because I've got lots of variations of colour and my petals will be very different and create lots of contrast between each other. So this is a really easy way to do it. But if you love playing with your inks, go ahead and take a, plen a blending brush, some of your favorite inks and blend away on some paper. You could also use some sprays or also watercolors if you like. But I'm going to be really, really sneaky and really lazy and I'm going to use the paper pack. So I'm going to place down all my dies and I'm grouping the dies by symbol onto the paper so that they have similar but different colors. Once all of my papers are ready to push through my die cut machine, I'm going to go ahead and do so. I will do this several times so that I can create several flowers. There are two centerpieces for each flower. I also cut out some black ones, but I won't be using them. Now all you have to do is make a little sandwich or sandwich, sorry, and just push that through your die cut machine. This is such an easy way to create lots of fun little layers just by using flowers. So you don't have to get busy with lots of different papers and lots of different techniques. Just using some fun dies that will lay on top of each other will create, create that instant detail. So I'm going to keep up on cutting out my flowers. Once I pull off the papers, I am going to group them together so that I can easily match them up afterwards. I've got all my little flowers ready to go and I'm just going to sort them out by number. So starting out by number one and then number two and I kind of layer them like that onto my craft mat so that I can just pick up number one, number two and just layer them. I'm using some Ulta new roll on glue. I really like this and afterwards I do pop some foam tape underneath just to secure everything. So here, here you can see how easy it is to layer these flowers. Sometimes you do have some separate little extra pieces. Just look on the layering guide where they go. And there we go. First flower is done. And I'm going to do the second one with a little arrow image. Once again, I'm just going to have a close look, layer them up starting at number one, two, three. And then I can just go ahead and layer them. You can see how easy this is and how easy it will be to create lots of flowers for a layout or just a couple for a card. I'm using uh, this set today because it's the newest release, but do go and have a look in the Alter New store for our other crafter flowers. There are so many to choose from and they are really a great way to add lots of layers and detail to a card or layout. So I'm just going to finish off my last little flower over here and then I can start working on my layout. Look at those pretty flowers, aren't they wonderful? And I love the variation of colors using the paper pack. Now uh, I'm just going to go ahead and add some little details. So that centerpiece does have some embossed areas, but they don't really stand out. So I'm just taking some artist markers in very similar colors to the centerpieces and just filling in those dots just to add that little bit of center detail. So now let's work on the background of our, our layouts. So it's always fun to add an extra little layer 
but I do like making it soft and subtle and using stencils is a great way that, to do that. So if you're looking for lots of variations on your for your cards and layouts, you can use the same design, but just swap out the stencils and create fun, funky backgrounds. I did pull out two color, three colors, but I'm only going to use two iceberg and um, baby pink and don't be afraid to mix these two but because it will create a nice purple which is also one of the colors in the flowers that i'm going to be using and i'm just placing uh the tiny bubble stencil all around the layout and creating this kind of diagonal design you could go horizontally or vertically I'm going to pop um, my photo onto some white cardstock and also some colored cardstock. The same colored cardstock I used to create my floral images. And I'm going to start arranging them, arranging them on my layout. I was wondering, do you have a favorite craft of flower uh, from all to new? Do pop it in the comment section. I would love to know your favorites so that I can check them out. I don't have all of them, even though I am on the design team. So this is the design I'm going to go for. I've got all my flowers layered on there. So I have got the di diagonal for the background and I went um, vertically to layer all my flowers. I used some uh, sentiments from the Magnificent Branch stamp set. I love the sentiments on this stamp set. So go and check that one out as well. And it is also a great stamp set if you love coloring. So I'm just going to stamp two in there and I do love that little bit of black contrast. I cut out some little butterflies using the mix and match Mar mariposa. I always use this one, this the, the smaller size butterfly. And I'm also going to use this lovely word dye, which says love. I use it over and over again and just pop that on the layout as well. It's also in black. And there you have it, the finished layout. If you've got any questions, just pop them in the comment section and have a lovely day and see you in two weeks for more lovely layers with Lilith. Bye-bye. Hello crafters. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching.